the project of Nombakine uh, was launched in 2008 and so far we have successfully conserved the three corners so uh, the northeast and uh, the northwest and the southeast we just received uh, a new grant uh, from the US State Department and this will allow us to work through phase 7 uh, which allow us to uh, conserve uh, the southwest corner and continue on the south facade and the west facade Following our repair method at the south side, uh, we are simply continuing the same repair method that we have used for the rest of the temple. Uh, our first priority is stabilizing the foundations. It means making the foundation again stable and strong and they can last for the next uh, generations. And to do this, we remove anything that is uh, in a very bad conditions, that has detached or eroded into soil, and we replace it with a new lateral or sandstone. So we use the same materials of the of the ancestors who built the Phnom Bakhine. And then uh, we reassemble the wall. Very importantly, we need to uh, address um, the water management. So make sure that the water, if it's uh, in contact with the, the terraces, then it will very simply flow out and not affect uh, the foundation. So then we can finish the reassembly of the wall and the pavers. Normally in a conservation project the idea is to maintain as much as possible the original material. So in the case of Nombakine, which is built in a way that is quite unique because the foundations inside the temple, those are uh, the, the bedrock, that is the bedrock really belonging to the mountain. So uh, the idea is to keep it as much as possible. Of course in certain situations this is not possible, so we need to remove everything that is eroded and replace it with new laterite and sandstone, uh, but the idea is really to maintain the authenticity of the material to, to, the, to as much as possible. Uh, with this current uh, grant from the, from the U.S. State Department, uh, we will accomplish the, the corner, uh, the southwest corner, uh, and get through uh, a part of the, the west facade too. Uh, so we anticipate a few more years, perhaps uh, four or five years, uh, based yeah, on the most recent uh, uh, calculations. Yeah. You know, and besides being the restoration of, of stone, of the material, we need to always be mindful that this is a great opportunity also of uh, employment year-round for a large number of uh, Cambodian people, uh, Cambodian professionals, technicians, and people who have really uh, dedicated a lot of their life to, to anchor and to, uh, to master their, uh, their job uh, as best as possible. So it is also a great opportunity to really um, maintain uh, old skills, uh, to maintain uh, traditional skills uh, and to teach them to a new generation. Thank you.